We are at number 36 of our lesson of the Bible. Taking us to the two avenues that are of the Bible. You see, the Bible rests that there is a heaven, there is a hell. There is no other way. There is God. There is Satan. There is Christ. There is the Antichrist. There's no third options. There's no purgatory. So when we look at the Bible, we got to see that there's two ways of the Bible. There's the fruitful tree of life, the water of life, the bread of life, the word of God, the King James Bible. And then there's the dead tree, the satanic Bible. Now I'm not talking about the Bible of uh, Ilton and LeVay. I'm talking about the modern Bible that are held by the hands and read by Christians in Baptist churches. And they don't even know that they have in their hands Satan's word. I told a man the other day, I said, don't give me a Bible that takes the blood out. Don't hand me what you call a Bible when they remove the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing is the Bible when it adds and subtracts, subtracts from the Bible. So, a couple points on the Council of Trent, a Catholic council, which is in the family of the Bible study. The Council of Trent, both Luther, Martin Luther, and Erasmus' writings were put to the index Liberium Prohibitorium. Erasmus and Luther's writings were banned. They were to be shut up. They were not to be read. They were not to be studied. They were not to be handled not only to Catholics, including the non-Catholics. It's amazing how much the Catholic history, the church, wants to get rid of the Bible. They don't want anything to do with the Bible. Their popes, their traditions, and their teachings override the Bible. And if you don't believe that is so, look at their issues. Their Polish pope bulls on the statements of Mary. Outside the Bible, she's a perpetual virgin. She's without sin. Her body saw no decay. She's the queen of heaven. That's none of it Bible. But when it comes to the proper way of the Bible, the proper use of the Bible, the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the Council of Trent banned their Bibles, as well as prior editions of the Bibles, in the general sense, they banned at the Council of Trent. They banned at the Council of Trent. Sorry, my hair goes with but All the Bibles leading up to the Council of Trent in 1546. No Bibles. And even the Catholic Church, with their Bible, they don't want their people to read it. At the Council of Trent, 1546, they decreed the Latin Vulgate was the exclusive Latin authority. Why? Because the people did not understand Latin. You hand them a Latin Vulgate, they couldn't read it. And the main thing of Luther and Erasmus and the, and the avenue of the King James Street of Bibles is we want to put the Bible in the language of the common people. The Catholic Church, we want to take the Bible out of the common people. We don't want them to have it. God, we want them to have it. What is the difference between God and the Catholic Church? What is wrong with the Catholic Church? One of the many things is they don't want the Bible in people's hands. 
We had 2000, I'm going to say 2019. We stood outside of a Catholic church here in Daytona Beach, Florida on their Christ Mass Midnight Mass and we handed them gospel tracts. They put a garbage can outside the door and grabbed the tracks and threw them in the garbage before they even entered into the Catholic Church. They don't want them to get the Word of God. Because the Word of God would have them to see the Catholic Church is a liar. The Catholic Church is a phony. The Catholic Church is anti-scriptural. The Catholic, the, the Catholic Church is of Satan. And like me, in April 21st, 1987, I came out of the Catholic Church and I came into Jesus Christ and I am saved and I never went back. The Satanic Bible version. See, they have an imitation Christ. Jesus said, many shall come in my name. There are many, even in my time, people who profess to be Christ. The Christ, Jesus. They have a city, Rome, Babylon. God has New Jerusalem, Jerusalem. They have ministers, 2 Corinthians 11. God has ministers. They got false prophets, God has prophets. They have their imitation gospel, and God has his gospel. God's gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures, it was buried and arose again the third day according to scriptures. Their gospel, come forward, say this prayer, eat this biscuit, drink this juice. Four Hail Marys, five Hail Marys, six Hail Marys. Be baptized, be sprinkled, be a member, do good. Even the Baptists have their own gospel, some of them. They got their own spirit, unholy spirit, where God has the Holy Spirit. And they have their Bibles. And God has his word. They got the corrupt Greek Bible or text. The Septuagint, the LXX, means 70. It's a two-column public Publication in 1714. It's a Vatican type text. It looks like, it reads like, and it sounds like the Vatican. All right. Anything from the Vatican, anything of Catholic, is wrong and unholy. And his origins. Remember origin? He goes all the way back to the corrupt scriptures. In the realm of the modern Bibles that are not King James, you will have either origin, Hort, or Westcott. Those are three names you don't want your Bible to be in. Codex Vaticanus, Vatican, Codex Sinaiticus, Sinai Law. The Codex should be telling you. It's an Egyptian. God doesn't want his people in Egypt. He wants them out of Egypt. And the Heischen, H-E-S-Y-C-H-I-N, type manuscripts. If it's Egyptian, if it's Westcott, if it's Hort, if it's Origin, if it's Alexandria, you got the wrong Bible. Plain and simple. And the origin of it is the Egyptian type Greek manuscript. The origin of families of texts and manuscripts is the Caesarean, the Byzantine. And the Egyptian. You don't want the Egyptian. Again, with the Egyptian, we're going to look at the Heisachin and the Egyptian type. 
They are the Codex Vaticanus and the Codex Sinaiticus. Can't say it, I'm sorry. Anything with these two codexes are not Bible. And are not of God. So familiar, it is said that by few, by some say, that these two, Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, are almost written by the same hand. I'll tell you they were. They are written by the hand of Satan. Number two, Codex Ephraimi, Rescriptus C, E-P-H-R-A-E-M-I. Codex Regius, R-E-G-I-U-S-L, the 8th century. This is all the Egyptian. This is what you don't want. And includes the Apocrypha. Well, you know, the King James included it. It had it in the King James Bible, but it did not have it part of the Bible. It did not make it the canon. As the Roman Catholic Church does. And many of your King James Bibles today exclude it. Many of the men... In the history of this Bible study, Jerome, I believe, excluded the Apocrypha, though I believe he put it in. If the writing in or out of Egypt is no concern, it is a text how it was written. You see, American can write in English in China. And it still can be English, though written in China. Uh, an Englishman is sitting in China and he writes in English. Mary had a little lamb. All right, doesn't matter. He's in China. He wrote in English, Mary had a little lamb. So, if it's sitting in Egypt and they write something in Greek, it's still Greek, though it was written, written in Egypt. From Italy, copied in Italy, people from Egypt came to Italy to write, and the source was Egypt, Alexandria, Egypt. So they went to Italy, and they wrote Egyptian in Italy. And they would say, well, you know, it was written in Italy, so, you know, it's, no, it was Egyptian. As much as that man wrote in English in China. It didn't make it Chinese. Writing in, in Italy didn't make it Italian, it was Egyptian. Egyptian thought, Egyptian ideas, Egyptian pen. Fifty Bibles of Constantine were Bibles in the original Greek language, commissioned in 331 by the Emperor Constantine I, and prepared by Bishop Eusebius of Caesarea. So there are fifty Bibles of Constantine. And they were prepared by Eusebius, Bishop Eusebius in Caesarea. Origin originated the manuscripts in Alexandria, Egypt, and in favor of all material they contained in the style Greek he used. Classic Greek and correction. Then copied by scribes in Italy from the manuscripts. So, written by origin, taking it to Italy, so made in Italy, you got stuff today, made in America with Chinese material, with parts from Taiwan. It may have been assembled in America, but it wasn't made in America. And this is where this Bible comes from. It was made in Alexandria, Egypt, and it was re 
rewritten, copied, in the same Alexandria in Egypt, it was just done in Italy. Or picked by Eusebius and copied in Italy by scribes. Or in Italy wrote these manuscripts from manuscripts he received from origin. Other writers wrote then the manuscripts received in Egypt. So Eurysis of Caesarea, the Constantine Bible, the man who wrote in China, Mary had a little lamb in English, cannot say This is a Chinese dialect because I wrote in China. No, it is English. You can't say these are Italian dialects when they are Egyptian. And gee, notice Italy and where would Italy get you to be for corrupt Bibles but Rome? Constantine, he's the guy that comes along and conforms the, the, the religions into a state religion. We'll start pers persecuting you Christians if you will take on what I call a Baptist Catholic. Happened in 2022. And its source is Alexandria, Egypt. Genesis 22, 6. And the Lord appeared on him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Jeremiah 42, 19. The Lord has said concerning you and all remnant of Judah, Go ye not into Egypt. Deuteronomy 17, 16. But ye shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt. The Bible forbids God's people to go into Egypt. And if your Bible is coming out of Egypt, it is a violation of what God said. Now, besides the fact is that God says you're not to add and subtract which those modern Bibles do. Now you're going back to Egypt when God said, don't. And then we got the Western. You want the Western. Bishop Eusebius ordered 50 to be sent to Constantinople. That's the city of Constantine. Origen takes up his work near Caesarea, the proper ways of the Bible. Mixes his work with the real work of God. So Caesarea, Antioch, is where our Bible comes from. You want the Antioch, where they were first called Christians, I apologize, my oxygen keeps getting. So Origen, the Bible corrupter, goes to where the Bible proper is, and starts mixing. I remember years back when I was growing up that I'm not gonna get the, the but there was a proper over-the-counter pain medicine. Somebody had tampered with that medicine. There was something with an eye drops, over-counter eye drops, and somebody tampered with that. In order to tamper with the pain medicine and tamper with the eye drop, you have to go where the eye drops and the pain medicine originates. Then you can tamper with the product. Origin goes where God is, and tampers with the Word of God. And comes up with the wrong Greek text. Satan ain't interested in the bar. He's interested in 
the Bible church that's doing right so he can go in there and mix everything up and corrupt everything up. One eighty AD, two twenty AD, and two thirty AD are the manuscripts of origin of Alexandria mixed with the true word of God. Well, you know, my Bible it has yeah, it has some truth in it. But there's additions and subtractions. I got a bottle of juice here. Alright, that's a bottle of juice. There's water. And there's juice. Okay? Now, what if I or somebody put arsenic and rat poison in this drink? But it's still fruit juice. It's still water. But it has been tampered with like the pain medicine and the eye drops. And it will cause more harm than good. You think, well, you know, my, my NIV, RSV, English, and good news, it's good. With the poison, with the harmful chemicals that have been added to it I believe the eye drop somebody put in it uh, I think it was some kind of what well, there is the people lost their eyesight eye drops are good somebody tampering with it and having them lose their eyesight that's not good there's a lot of food recalls you got something that's good. But if it has an allergy unlisted, if it has fragments of glass, if it has semolula, semolula, that's another word I can't say. If it has something put in it that is toxic and hazardous to human or pets use, The good has become foul, has become bad, and is really no use. Yes, modern Bibles have the Bible, but they've been corrupted. I got an automobile battery. And it's good. But if it's got that corrosion in it, it's got... The, the terminals have been covered with the... Uh, powdery kind, I don't know what it is, but one day you're going to go try to start your car and you ain't going to have enough power to start your car. First Corinthians 5, 6, your glory is not good. Know ye not a little leaven, leaven's a whole lump. One man origin and look at all the corrupt Bibles we have and they all attack one Bible the King James Galatians 5 9 a little leaven leavens a whole lump how did churches come into having Whatever, like I said, there's a Bible, I mean, there's a church where I grew up. You can bring whatever Bible you want to preach it in. And that, my family went to that church. How can you sit there and have any Bible you want? It don't make sense. All right, class, come on together. We're going to make today, we're going to make chocolate chip cookies. Everybody ready? All right, I got a chocolate chip cookie recipe. Uh, Barbara, you got spaghetti meatballs. Tim, you have an apple pie recipe. Fred, you have a lasagna recipe. Betty, you have brownie recipe. 
Jerry, you have pancake recipe. What are you going to end up with at the end of the day in the class? What are you going to end up at the judgment seat of Christ? And you're going to realize your pastor and your Sunday school teachers are going to be at odds with God. Oh, I'm having heart pains, heart trouble. Oh, I'm going to go to a foot doctor. Oh, I think I got an ulcer. My stomach's all upset. Uh, I think I'll go to a gynecologist. My back hurts. Maybe I'll go to a kidney doctor. Ooh, a, a hammer hit me inside the head. I think I'll go to a dermatologist. I just got hit by a car. Okay, ambulance, take me to the grocery store. See, there's a lot of doctor professions out there, but you got to go to the right one. There's a lot of buildings out there, but you got to go to the right one. You got a lot of Bibles out there, but you got to go to the right one. Three forty A.D. for the fourth century. Revised versions of the Bible in circulation, corrupt manuscripts of the Roman Empire. All over the Roman Empire. And 340 A.D., the 4th century. There are corrupt manuscripts. A little leaven. Including Caesarea Antioch, where the Bible came from. And the Lord tarries. If the Lord tarries, there'll be a lot more. But there'll be one King James. <laughs>